Oh my god, Poppy! Wait, I'm not playing you! I'm a businesswoman. What's up, everyone? This is Serge Baka, aka Mafuzi Chef. Welcome to How Hungry Are You? Today, I will be cooking for WNBA star Liz Kanich. Liz is a vegetarian who loves Thai food. And today, I'm gonna design her fried rice with some natto. Very sticky. How are you feeling? Terrified. I am terrified. What's up? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good to see yeah, you. Good to see you too. Thank you for coming. Thank you for you having me. Yeah. Oh no. How are you? I'm okay. I want to appreciate it for your time coming here. Thank you for having me. Are you, are you scared? Why are you scared? <laughs> I see what you do on this show, and yeah. even though I'm like vegetarian. Yeah, but you know what? I'm still scared. One thing you got lucky because you're vegetarian. Yeah. You know, so I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna be fine. And I cooked something very good for you. Oh, you cooked you know. this? Yeah. Okay. But before we start, mm. I want to introduce you to some one of my favorite African food. Okay. Okay. Because you know, I'm African. I'm half Nigerian. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know, uh, well, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I was raised white by my white mother. Okay. So like, I've, I've, uh, I've, I've never had like homemade African okay. food before. Okay. Okay. So today you're gonna try uh, fufu and agosi. Ooh. Yeah, actually, you know, people from Nigeria love agosi a lot. Uh huh. And fufu. What's that made of? Uh, agosi, I mean, let me see. It's uh, spinach. It's like a tofu? No, not tofu. No? No, it's not tofu, no. It looks like tofu. Hey, this is fufu. It's made with cassava. Oh, yeah. Now you're eating Nigerian food now. <laughs> Just you say you're from Nigeria. Okay, you just like this. Go ahead. Go get a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit here. Yeah. And then you mix with the food. Oh. Just like that. <laughs> it's sticky. Yeah, food is sticky. Yeah. I'm shaking. Why? I don't know if it's the food or it's you making me nervous. No. You like spicy? It's a little spicy. I like spicy. Okay, that's perfect. It's a little spicy. It's too much? It's a weird texture. Yeah? It's good though. Well, you, you need to start learning about it because you say you're from Nigeria, what? I know. Mm. I need to learn. I, I, you know, you know the gumakes. You know Shanae and Neko gumakes. Yes. Yeah. We're planning a trip soon. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. So, so they take their Nigerian as well. Okay. So they, my sister's gonna show me where I'm really from because I don't know. I don't know. You anything. should know where you come from. I think that's. I don't know really those. Good. Yeah. Mm. Tell me a little bit about your story of basketball. How did you start to play basketball? And why basketball? Well, I started basketball to make friends. To make friends? Yeah, I was not sporty at all. Okay. Um, I was getting really like bullied at a new school. I was like 10 years old, couldn't make new friends. New town, new school, like couldn't. That's where? Uh, back in Melbourne, Australia. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. okay. And we tried Sea Scouts. My mom took me to Sea Scouts, you know, like uh, Girl Scouts. But it's like by the by the ocean. So I learned I've always lived on the ocean. Okay. So we tried Sea Scouts, it wasn't for me. Um, and then one Sunday morning my mom woke me up and took me to basketball practice and that was it. I loved it. I loved making friends. I was horrible when I started, but I didn't care. I just At I just, what age did you start? Ten. Ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think about it? It's good. Okay. It's actually really yummy. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you sure or are you saying to make me happy? No. <laughs> Be honest with me. It's okay if you don't, you don't like it. I like, I actually do like it. This is like okay, a weird. Give me one more bite. Please, 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 please like it. Big one though. Just for you? Yeah. Let just me see for you, just to prove. Yeah, to prove. You. If I eat this, you're going to take me for more African food? I will take it for more. <laughs> I'm going to give the for more. Okay, wait, let me get big. Yeah, get a big one. Get a big it. one, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make everyone proud with this. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Now you got past now. Mm -hmm. Now, next step, more food for okay. you. Can you name me all the teams you played for on the 32nd? In just the WNBA or just around the world? Around the world. Because me and my team, we did, we did some research. Like professional or like? A every any, every uh, sport team you played. Like since I was a kid? Yeah. Okay. 32nd, go. 
Western Port Steelers, Danny Nong Rangers, Australian Institute of Sport, Bullying Boomers, Melbourne Boomers, uh, Shanghai, Beijing, uh, Shanxi, Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, Dallas, uh, Dallas Wings, Vegas, Vegas Aces, the Australian basketball team, um, a couple other random cities in China that I've forgotten how to you pronounce. Forgot. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, she, she got it? How many, how many should be? She said Tulsa Shark? Yeah, I said Tulsa Shark. How many should be? I said that. 29 seconds. That one I will never forget. I said that. How many teams should be? She got them all. Oh? Yeah, she got them all. Wow, that's amazing. I know Good job. <laughs> Good job, okay. So Drake posted a, a picture on Instagram of you guys mm -hmm. too. What, what's your relationship with Drake? That's my guy, Papi. Um, you know, he's a big fan of basketball. He's a big supporter of the W. And um, we're lucky, you know, he really wants to get a team to Toronto. Okay. Um, so he, he trying to sign me, he trying to get the team, but he sung about me when I, when I broke the record and he's just a really great supporter. So what made you decide to start on OnlyFans? Mm -hmm. There was what a the calling. The... What the reason? Be honest, what the reason? Uh, money. Money, okay, mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've made my own lane. I do what I do. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy. No? You know, everything that's on my OnlyFans, everyone's seen already. It's nothing new, it's nothing different. <laughs> it's just a different way. Not, nothing new, huh? I'm, I make 2% of what you do, you know? I make 2%. I have to find my money other ways. I understand, I respect that. <laughs> You think I can have an OnlyFans too? Or should you I You can I have an OnlyFans. Yes, I, you should can, I, sir. One, should I open one? Mm hmm. We're going to think about it, Jordi. So it's big business, a lot of money out there. Big business, baby. Have you and the Connecticut Suns coach mm -hmm. squashed your beef? We hugged. We hugged it out. When it was that? Um, It was like the game. We had to play them again after okay. everything happened, but. Yeah, I said what I wanted to say. He apologized. It's it's all good. Did he apologize to you? Mm -hmm. You guys speak before that? Mm, no, no. Okay. I don't think so. But so now it's no beef between you guys. Good. No. All good. No. Yeah. So you scored fifty three points. Mm -hmm. WNBA. Yes. It was a work record. Yes. How do you feel about it? It's cool. During the game when you was playing, did mm -hmm. you know like no. it was? A special I moment. I just thought I was just having like a good shooting night. Yeah, it was you like, were just oh, hot. I like if I knew, uh -huh. like my coach took me out early. Like I could, I could have gone for sixty if I knew, but I had no idea. You didn't know. No idea. Mm. But how do you feel after when you found out? It was, it was really cool. And I think the uh, the coolest thing is that as I was a kid and I started playing basketball, I wore number fifty three. Like oh, that. Okay. Yeah, that was okay. my playing number when I was like 13, 14 years old. So, you know, it's cool. I'm not really the type of person to like to wear my accomplishments as like a medal or. You know, it's just not, I, I wouldn't, like, it, it's in the past, it is what it is. It, is what it was it is. a cool thing. Yeah. It's nice to have on my work resume, but, it, you know, I focus more on winning than breaking records. It's just, records are there to be broken. Mm. That's a good mindset. I mm -hmm. like that. I like mm -hmm. that. Who's the best in WNBA ever? DT is, defi DT is definitely the, the goat. goat. The, the goat. goat. She's the goat. Like, oh my god, she's just. Unstoppable, and she'd be different in playoffs as well. But I played a lot in China, okay. And and getting to see Maya Moore play in China, like yeah. not a lot of people. I saw something that no one else had, like probably one percent of the world's probably seen. And watching Maya Moore hoop and have like sixty point games like every other night in China, that was special. I've never seen anyone play basketball like that. But you watch NBA too? Yes, I, I was asking you the same question about the NBA. Who's the ghost? The GOAT in the NBA? NBA. Yeah. Oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. this the is goat it! NBA. It's so tough. It'd be changing. Hey, anybody, everybody have a different opinion. For you me know? personally, opinion, yeah. my, my GOAT is Kobe. Kobe. He's the one okay. that really made me like fall in love with the game. Um, he's the one that he, I wanted to be a god because of him. Like I wanted to be Kobe. Everyone was like, "You need to watch Shaq. Like you need to watch Shaq and Kobe." So you wanted to be Shaq. I I never I never wanted to be a post player when I was like a teenager. I always yeah. wanted to be extra and and be oh, Kobe. Oh, I see the tattoo here, Mamba. Yeah, huh? yeah. Oh, camera. Can you can you can you catch that? Did you see that? That's kind of cool, I see. Okay, yeah. it makes sense now, it makes sense. Yeah, and like, I, I, not a lot of people know that mm -hmm. he, a lot of us were on court with him a week before he died from the WNBA. Okay. Um, so he was like a mentor to a few of us. He was my mm -hmm. mentor. 
and it, it really rocked my world losing him. So for me, Kobe is my go always forever. Respect. Yeah. Respect. Mm -hmm. What did WNBA players do you like to watch play? Hmm. On TV, like you say, you really enjoy watching. I like to watch my, my games back. That's what I like to watch. Okay. I'm my favorite player. Well. <laughs> <laughs> who else? Who else I like to watch in the yeah. WNBA? Yeah, there's so much talent. Um, I like watching Britney. Britney, because she's my she's my she's my twin. She's my twin, but different. And um, she had such a great season this year. I was really proud of her. So Britney Grimes, she'd be one of my favorites to watch. Yeah. What, what about the NBA? In the NBA? Yeah. Woo! My list is long. No, give me one. I'll ask you one. My favorite? Yeah. Well, we all love the king. Everyone loves the king. But it's the young boys I love. Like, they just be different. Like, these, this youth coming through, like, jaw. Like, they just do no fear. Like, killers risking it all just to, like, throw down a massive dunk. Like, I, I love watching the young kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's one of the young kids you like to watch? Well, Ja, Darius Garland. Okay. Love me some Miles Bridges. Um, who else we gonna throw in there? I love. I think Charlotte's a really so you like, fun. So you like more Showtime, huh? I love Showtime basketball. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. I heard um, you talk a lot about mental health. Mm -hmm. You know, I know it's very important with you. Mm -hmm. About you know, it's very important to talk about mental health these days. You know, mm -hmm. what kind of advice you give? You can give. Can you give to the young? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, young players, mm -hmm. young athletes. I feel like. The older I get and the more I reflect on like growing up, I wish that I just took my time and trust the process and didn't try to rush things. Um, I, and I feel like players and, and just people in general, we can be so, so like fascinated and locked into what everyone else is doing and not reflecting on what we need to be doing and where we are personally. So I think I'm lucky growing up, um, I, there, was, there was no person I ever really wanted to be. That I never really had a role model or a mentor that like I truly, I truly connected with. So I had to grow into myself and work out like who I wanted to be as a person and and the woman I wanted to be. So instead of like watching other people, I was always focused on me and being my best that I could be. So like for mental health, that's that's to help me today instead of like social media. Everything looks wonderful on social media. Yes. It's all a lie. Everything is a lie. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we put up our happy photos. No one really shows what we're really going through. So mm -hmm. I feel like the main thing is just to focus on yourself and remember that everyone's going through something. Everyone is on this crazy life journey and it, it's just all you. You can't worry about other people. You gotta stay within and, and look to you. Well, oh, what you be doing is great. Keep it up because, you know, a lot of, a lot of young kids out there need that. Thank you. They need that. I think, I think we live in a world where we're taught that you know, we're not, we, we shouldn't be feeling anything, but feelings are cold feelings for a reason. For a reason you're meant yeah. to feel them and you're meant to go through them and you're meant to, you know, work them out. So when did you become a vegetarian? Because <laughs> you got lucky. 2018, I stopped eating meat. Oh yeah, why? Um, I, uh, I'm very big on energy and what I put into my body and it's something you saw, like, uh, you know, someone, you mm -hmm. know, told you about some stories. Like... I have some friends, in, I've tried a lot. Like when I was a teenager, I tried to stop eating meat. Um, I nearly, you know, I didn't know the proper nutrition then. And I, I, I've got very low iron already. And so doctors are always like, meat, 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 meat. You can, you can work that out and make that up in other ways. I know that now. Um, but, you know, I had a lot of other athletes around me that are vegan, vegetarian, and, I didn't want to put dead carcasses in my body anymore or that oh, energy. No, 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 don't say that because, you know, no, no, no. You asked, and that's no, the reason. Yeah, no, but, <laughs> I love some meat, so you know what I mean? I know. Yeah. It tastes so good, but I think that's the issue is that once you really learn mm -hmm. um, where it comes from and, and the processes that these animals are, are killed in. Okay, you know what? We're done there. You good. You already answered your questions. You good. What NBA player can you beat on one on one? You. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Jordi, do you got play this one? <laughs> do you got playing this one with her? Why she answer so fast like that? <laughs> no. Let's go. No. Mm. Are you sure about that? Uh huh. Okay, one day we will see. Let's go. You wanna do it and have a camera there or not? Oh yeah, definitely. I ain't scared. Uh -huh. 
No way. But hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's good to have the confidence. I like mm-hmm. that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. We'll see. I like that. We'll see. But why then? Mm. You better be ready. Man, she lucky she's vegetarian, man. <laughs> you got lucky. Thank God. Yes. Thank God. Yeah, I see. I saw your car. Oh, maybe, like... maybe that's the reason she said, oh, I'm vegetarian now. Uh, <laughs> that's the reason. Are you, are you, are you vegetarian for yeah, me? Or just because you saw me? I'm vegetarian. I'm vegetarian. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. Since 2018. Well, you can make it up for it. Okay, I lie, I lie. I lie. I got drunk on Halloween, and I you ate. See? I ate a, I ate a chicken slide on Halloween. It's the first time. But I was I was drunk. It's the one time. You was drunk? Or you was hungry. You, I you was drunk. Around. I was drunk at a party. You remember that? I was like, "Do you have Impossible Burger?" They said, "No." It smells so good. And then you ate. How I've been it? really upset about it. <laughs> Simple, okay. very simple. Uh-huh. All right? I know you like spicy. There you go. You ready? No. Okay. <laughs> Short time. Would you rather to play for a team coached by Kurt Miller or the Australia national team? Ooh. Not bad, huh? Why, why you skip this question? Why do you want to answer? Give me this one minute. That ain't even that spicy. It's not spicy? It's not even spicy. Ah. Okay. <laughs> please, please, let me I need more spicy, please. <laughs> That's cute. So why? That's kind of nice, huh? It's kind of cute. Because you're vegetarian. That's the reason. If you're not vegetarian, you know the drink I've been giving people here? Like fish heads or something no. nasty. Crickets. Crickets? With crickets inside. No, oh, little Jimmy crickets. Oh, spicy enough for you? I kind of regret <laughs> trying to <laughs> say all that what do you shit did? just then. Why I gotta talk shit? Like, why? Why? I, I hope this time it's gonna be. You asked for it. You Thank you. <laughs> all right. Lord Jesus. You know what? I got something for her. She wanna play me? How are we gonna do it from now? <laughs> this is your shot. Every time you don't answer, you finish this. Here we go. That's the shot. Ah, now you ready? Mm. Okay. I think that's gonna be fun now. <laughs> Who's the most overrated player in the WNBA? I should have just did the. You just yeah. lost. Oh my god! Take a better <laughs> shot. Good job. All right, we go to the next one. <laughs> now is the foot part. So let's heat up the pan on medium and add oil. You can wait here. Now I'm gonna mix garlic and stir. Here we got the garlic. Now, I'm gonna put the veggie. So, to make a good fried rice, you have to mix with good old rice from yesterday. So here, I got old rice from yesterday. I'm gonna mix with my veggie and garlic. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some sauce here. Soy sauce. When you make fried rice, you have to have your soy sauce on it. And we got ostrich sauce. It's for vegetarian. Now, only two things is missing now. If you know me, you know what I like. Easy money. Salt and pepper. Now, I got one more secret. I got here sweet soy sauce. Because Liz, she loves Thai food. Now my rice is ready. I'm gonna make my plate now. It smells good. Voila, the fried rice is almost ready. We got one more step to go. 
So now I'm gonna add the natto on top. It's slimy and smelly. Mmm. All right. Now I'm gonna garnish with the green onion. This is the last one. Voila, this is art. I don't cook, I design. So Liz, how hungry are you? How hungry are you? How hungry are you? I'm not. You're not hungry? No. Why not? Because <laughs> you burnt my esophagus with so, that hot juice. I took this time to cook for you. Are you saying you're not hungry? Mm, okay, let me see what you got. You see? Let me see. It took me a lot of time to cook for you. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. you go, like I say, you're a special guest, so I put a lot of work there to impress you. Let's see. You ready? Come on, chef. Show so, me what you got. I know you're a vegetarian, mm -hmm. and then you are scared to come to my show yes. because you saw a couple of videos. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, uh, I made something very special. Mm -hmm. It's fried rice. Oh. Okay. You okay. see that? Let's I go like start. Fried rice. I like okay. Fried rice. Okay. So, fried rice with nachos. That looks good. What is that? Let's see. So nachos is Japanese food made of fermented soybeans. Mm. Okay, and I made with fried rice. Mm. It's my first time too, so we're both gonna try it. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? We're gonna, we're gonna eat it together? Yeah, we're gonna try That's it together. That's cute, okay. Yeah, you ready? Mm -hmm. You see that? You first. You, this is a bad. You first. No, you're my guest. Yeah, you. Okay, you know, I'll go first. It'll be rude. Yeah, I'll go first. It'll smell? Yeah. Not bad. Smell like beans, you ready? Yeah. Okay, I go first. Okay. Oh. Oh. I go first. You don't have no beans on that. I got beans. You too. ain't got no look, beans. Look, look. You see that? You see? You see How that? long they fermented for? You see that? Yeah, I see that. Just done. It's your turn. Mm. No, come on. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Put some My rice is good though. The rice is good, but I told you. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, why is it sticky like that? What is this? No. Okay. I guess for the chef, hey? Yep, let's do it. You happy with this? I'm happy with that one. Why are you laughing? I'm... It's not bad, right? You see? Not bad. No, no. Told you. It's not that bad? No. Are you sure? No. Give one more. Mmm. Okay, I told you it's mm. good. Here I you got bad. lucky today, hey. Very lucky. Mm. It's still good tonight. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really scared that like you were gonna give me like a fermented egg today. Mm. And you know in China, you've seen those black eggs that you ever been to China? They eat like from like old eggs, fermented eggs. Mm -hmm. I was really- I had that before here. Yeah. I was scared I was gonna get something like that. Oh yeah. It went, no, no, no. Yeah, you got mm. lucky. All right then. Thank you so much. Good job. You did it. You did it. Not bad, not bad right? You did yeah. it. It was all right. Thank you so much. This is Serge Baca with Liz. A new episode of Hungry Are You Still Ready? We're coming back. How delicious. We need to do this again sometime soon. Yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs>